Um, so I'll just start by introducing myself. So my name is Ava. Um, I'm the peer advisor for computer science engineering, and I'm currently a third year in computer science engineering. Um, and today we have Wolverine Soft joining us today. Um, very exciting. Um, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, um, a little bit about your role in Wolverine Soft? Yeah, so my name is Paul. Um, I'm a philosophy major. Our Wolverine Soft is ultimately uh, University of Michigan's main like uh, game development community. Uh, I'm the main marketing person for it, uh, and it's just a really cool club. So, yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, and then from there, can you tell us a little bit about like what Wolverine Soft is, um, kind of what the main goal of the org is? Yeah, so Wolverine Soft ultimately is a game development community. Uh, we want to encourage people who are pursuing like art, audio, design, programming, uh, to learn like how to apply that into creating video games. Uh, we have a lot of just community events, hangout events also, um, and it's pretty beginner friendly. Uh, it's, but, but ultimately what Wolverine Soft is about is we're about game development uh, and helping people wherever they're at learn how to be able to create video games. Cool, that's awesome. Um, and yeah. that too, can you talk a little about maybe like what the structure is in Wolverine Soft? Um, I know you mentioned to me like there's some different leads, um, maybe like what those different uh, categories are. Yeah, so Wolverine Soft as a club has a lot of like sub like uh, categories of like different activities we do. Uh, the main ones are like the club activities, which are led or managed by uh, seven officers. And then we are occasionally have like committee members for that uh, to support those seven officers. And then uh, we also have something called Wolverine Soft Studio. Uh, and that's where a team of students, uh, usually around 25 to 40 each semester, uh, creates uh, one to two video games uh, as like high quality portfolio projects. And for that, we even bring in like industry play testers. And um, that's just, that's an experience for people who are really passionate and seriously uh, pursuing game development for like a career. And then the club has several weekly events, uh, just about just hangout events, uh, game development events, uh, fun stuff. Cool. Um, with that too, so you're mentioning, you know, Wolverine Soft is a game uh, org. So can you talk a little about what kind of games that you guys have made in the past? Maybe like what some of your favorites were? Um, yeah. And what ones you're working on right now? Yeah. So uh, Wolverine Soft Studio is a really unique endeavor. Uh, I personally have not seen anything like it at other universities. And we've been talking to a bunch of different universities. Um, and um Wolverine Soft Studio, so like each semester will typically have like a case study game that could be something like Bloons Tower Defense, uh, it could be like Doom, it could be uh, very, it could be any game basically that we think we can make uh, some sort of replica within a semester's time frame, which is pretty short for uh, how ambitious mm -hmm. like the projects are. So uh, like one of my favorites that was a past project and we're actually revamping this semester uh, it, it was called Ragnarok TD. Uh, it's basically, uh, I mentioned Bloons Tower Defense. It's uh, a Bloons Tower Defense game. Uh, that semester we decided to make the theme of it like uh, Nordic Viking mythology, which is pretty cool. Um, and then this semester, a small team is working on making that an actual multiplayer experience uh, for people. So we're overall, we make anything like that. Uh, and then a personal favorite of mine is one called Caduceus. It's a 3D uh, like labyrinth. Basically the level's procedurally generated. Uh, it's random each time you play it. Uh, it was a project where we definitely overscoped and we were really too ambitious, but it was a really fun experience. Uh, and to be humbled that way, I'd learn a lot uh, from it. But uh, overall, like those are probably my favorite games. And then this semester we're also working on, uh, there's this uh, game on Steam called FTL, uh, and it's kind of cool, like, it's almost like we basically are making it so you have a submarine, and then you can use that. You basically try to keep the submarine repaired uh, as the game progresses, so. That's yeah. awesome. Those sound really, really cool. Um, can I ask too, um, how, where do you, are people allowed to play these games after you've made them? Um, or like, where are they available? Yeah, so our website, wolverinesoft.org, uh, we have some links that go to a lot of our past projects. It's a really, it's a pretty new thing. It's created in like 2019, uh, like around like summer, fall. And um, people can play games on our itch page, uh, which some of those links will take you to those itch games. And we're starting to upload them on Steam also. 
Uh, it's like just free to play. Uh, so that can also be found on our website um, or just reaching out. So, yeah. Awesome. Those sound like very complex games. Um, do you need experience to join Wolverine Soft or how can beginners join? So you don't need, like Wolverine Soft Studio, uh, you, for that, we typically do look for experience and you apply for that mm -hmm. um, for art, design, programming, or uh, uh, audio. But the actual club uh, is basically just, we welcome anyone and we want to actually help people. Even if you start from zero, you have no knowledge about game development or computers or um, mm -hmm. like, like computer programming or just anything like that. Uh, we want to be able to help uh, people like that. Me personally, I'm a philosophy major, and it's like mm -hmm. I started off not knowing anything. I just went to some of the fun community events, just mm -hmm. met some really nice people. And um, overall, like that's helped turn into a serious passion of mine. And uh, you just get – we have multiple events each week. Uh, we have a lot, some of those uh, further in detail on our website. But uh, overall, uh, you can just join either uh, by checking out one of our game jams that we have a couple times each semester, our weekly general meeting, or um, – uh, also, like a game and talk, which is kind of like a book club, except instead of books, you play a video, different video game each week. It's uh, pretty cool. We also have community nights, and we have a lot of stuff. Uh, so uh, just going out to the Discord uh, and exploring the website, well, you can see some pretty cool stuff. Cool. That's a great way for people to join then. Um, with that, too, yeah. um, do you guys have some professional opportunities for members as well? Like, is there ways for people to talk to, like, older members? Or I'm not sure. Um, so we don't have like a formal process for that, uh, but we are like currently developing ways for people that have created a lot of things, especially in recent years, um, who've created things like Wolverine Soft Studio uh, to provide advice and to be speakers uh, for uh, people that are joining. Um, the officers are always, uh, they're a bit more experienced or passionate with game development in general. Uh, they're always a great resource to talk to. Um, but uh, we're also uh, rolling out some things like a resume book, uh, which we are used to uh, communicate with other companies. And then um, also maybe like some kind of alumni uh, discord. But overall, the, our discord like is about 1,600 people. And uh, people that are in the club, they usually stay in it over time. Uh, there's no formal application like join either. Uh, so as for professional opportunities, Wolverine Soft Studio is by far the clearest. Like that mm -hmm. gives you phenomenal game development experience, right. really solid yeah. portfolio projects. Uh, but doing the game jams, uh, it, it, we do, we host two to three each semester. That will, like you make a video game in 48 hours. Uh, even if you're a complete beginner, recommend you just learn by doing. And uh, that helps you build your portfolio a lot quicker. And then if you, more people you talk to, like we have a ton of people that work at different uh, just game development industry companies, uh, AAA studios or indie studios or whatever. So uh, AAA would be like uh, Sucker Punch, uh, like, uh, I mean, that could be anything like Nintendo or uh, Roblox that might count. <laughs> uh, but the, the, overall, we have a lot of uh, people that have been in through Wolverine Soft, uh, gone into really cool careers. That's awesome. That sounds like a lot of great opportunities then. Um, with that too, you had mentioned some different um, social events that you guys have. Do you want to talk maybe about like what your favorite social event is? Yeah, so me personally, I love game jams. Uh, we have snacks and like uh, lunch and dinner throughout the weekend. Uh, we literally have the room open like overnight uh, and you make a video game in 48 hours. The really cool part about it is when you meet people and it's like, oh, I'm an artist. Okay, oh, this is someone that really focused on like sound design or wants to learn how to do that. Oh, this person's like got a computer science degree, but not much game development experience. Uh, they could be really, it, it could be a great experience for them to be on our team to like do the programming for the game. It's really cool meeting new people and then uh, working on different projects. And I usually, whenever I do participate, I usually try to meet different people uh, and try to work on a different project each time because of that. It's just, it's a really cool experience. Um, and then you also, again, the snacks and food, and it's just a classic, like, oh, it's college weekend, you know? <laughs> so, uh, the, yeah. That's great. That's a great, like, professional and social opportunity. That's awesome. Um, yeah. With that, too, um, can you talk a little bit about how people in CSE can get involved in Wolverine Soft specifically? Um, like, is there a specific application, um, or can people just show up? 
Yeah, so, so people in CSE, anyone can get involved literally just by uh, joining. Our Discord is our main hub. Um, and overall, like, uh, through that, you see various announcements. It's almost like you choose how involved you got. The only part of Wolverine Soft that uh, you have to apply for is the studio, uh, just because of the limited resources to uh, provide such an environment uh, for a team of students to create that video game each semester. But uh, everything else, like the Game and Talk, which is like the book club thing, game jams where you create a video game in 48 hours, or general meetings, uh, or, or once a month community nights. Um, these are consistent events that we have throughout the semester, and it's just whatever you can make it, we'd love to see you there. Uh, and, and overall, too, like, uh, I think a lot of people think, oh, I have to have a lot of game development experience. I have to, I have to be a master at it. I have to have something like it's, we're not like that. We're trying to get as many people as we can to uh, join uh, just and to help you like where you're at overall. Um, so uh, if, in a way it's like the University of Michigan doesn't have a formal game development degree or program. And then all the rival institutions like Michigan State, uh, they, they have like world-class game development uh, thing figured out. So Wolverine Soft in a way is kind of the gap here at the university that uh, helps people like who are passionate or actually just want to explore or learn about game development, about art, audio design programming, just overall anything uh, with making games and telling cool stories. So, yeah. That's great. That was a great overview of how people can join. Um, with that too, can you talk a little bit about the time commitment of Wolverine Soft? Um, is there a certain like amount that people have to um, commit to when they join? Um, and then with that, how have you balanced classes um, with Wolverine Soft? Yeah, so our Discord is about 1,600 people. It's been growing daily uh, for a while, even after the pandemic, which is really cool. Uh, and a lot of those people, basically, you choose how involved you got. There's no time commitment. Um, but to make the most out of the experience to really learn game development, I would say you just try as many opportunities as you can and try to meet as many cool people as you can. Um, it's like uh, the actual... Uh, so... So I would say the general meeting, like we have around 100 active members, I would say, uh, across all our activities, including the studio. And um, overall, it's kind of cool, like seeing how big the club is on Discord, talking to people, and then uh, actually going to these events and finding out, hey, the game, game and talk, uh, like book club thing, basically, like that's about 10 to 15 people that tried a new game this week. And uh, it's really a cool experience. Even if you didn't, even if you forgot to play the game, you're still welcome to go to that. Uh, or like the general meeting, it's like we'll either have industry play testers sometimes, sometimes we'll have workshops, just how to learn to use uh, programs such as Unity uh, and other things. So it's really, there's no time commitment. Uh, to be an active member, you just generally attend uh, events here and there. Um, and to be a part of the Discord, uh, like there's literally, uh, just, you can go to wolverinesoft.org. Uh, and uh, just check out as many opportunities and channels as you can. Uh, yeah. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, and then with that too, do you want to talk briefly about kind of the, I know there's a lot of events and opportunities. Um, yeah. Like the ones that are coming up um, like this next week or so um, before like the semester ends. So we have a really, we collaborate uh, with something called IGDA. Uh, it's an international game development association. It's what IGDA means. And the, uh, the overall, like, people will, so, so each semester, they'll team up with X494, mm -hmm. Wolverine Soft Studio, like Wolverine Soft the Club will join a lot. Um, we'll partner with Eastern Michigan University. We have, like, a really big showcase at the end of the semester showing off uh, really cool games that people have made uh, just at U of M and at Eastern Michigan University. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's happening on December 9th. Uh, that's a really big one that's really cool. You can join virtually, or again, uh, you'll hear details if you join the Discord. Uh, you'll see it in the announcements. Uh, or you can go in person, uh, and I believe that is uh, right here. Well, I'm at, I'm at Steve Dudersot right now, but uh, that's at like the uh, BBB building uh, by the main atrium, like uh, the main area basically at BBB. So on that December 9th, uh, so yeah. Perfect. That's awesome. That's a great way to get started with that and enjoy. Um, and then for my last question, I want to ask you, um, just can you talk a little bit about maybe what your favorite part is of Wolverine Talk? 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> My favorite part of Wolverine Soft is how welcoming and how encouraging uh, a lot of people in the community are. Um, they, again, I was a philosophy major that started from literally nothing. And it's like, I never imagined, it had been kind of a dream in the back of my head, like, oh, it'd be cool to learn how to make video games someday. And it's like, I'm actually able to do that. And uh, whether whether I'm in the studio, whether I'm not, uh, like by doing game jams, it's like, uh, it's just really cool. Uh, I think a lot of the people are pretty authentic too. Uh, and I, I personally like that about the club a lot. Uh, a lot of people, sometimes things are awkward, sometimes things are uh, just real, you know, so. I uh, really appreciate that. That's awesome. Well, yeah. that was all my questions here. I really, really appreciate you taking the time um, to talk to us a little bit about Wolverine Soft. Um, it sounds like an amazing org with so many opportunities. Um, so this video will be up for people to learn more about it um, in the future too. Um, and thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no, thank you, Ava. Uh, appreciate it. Thank Being you. able to talk about it. See you. Bye.